Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. This will be the tortoise nail tutorial and these are the products I will be using in the tutorial today. If you have a similar replacement, please feel free to use that instead. These are just the products I'm using um, in my demo today. We're gonna start off with applying a base coat. And once you have that done, pop it in the UV lamp for 30 seconds. Then the next color we're gonna use is Brave Orange by Madame Glam. And it looks really orange um, as I'm, I'm applying it, but you'll see in the um, next two or three steps, um, I'll be using another color to diffuse that to give it more of an amber um, look and feel to it. Pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now using caffeinated, now we're doing the spots. So I'm applying some caffeinated as well as perfect black on my nail palette there. And using blooming gel, apply a very, very, very thin layer. Um, you'll be applying several coats of the blooming gel, so a thin layer is very important. I'm using a gradient uh, brush by Brillbird, but you can use any small nail, br nail art brush that you have. So now that I'm applying the spots, I'm using the color caffeinated. And the key here is um, applying the color as flat as possible in um, random areas. So you apply the spots where you feel like tortoiseshell um, spots need to be. So you see here, I'm patting down the color so that it lays flat. This is important because when you're curing it, um, and towards the end, you want the spots to lay flat versus being bumpy when you, after you top coat. And I put the reel here in a regular time so that you can see my application. And as we're doing this, you'll see that the bloom gel is doing its work. It's spreading the color in essence and diffusing you know, the, the color a little bit on the edges. So when you apply the spots, um, go a little smaller than what you want it um, to look because the color will spread. And as you can see, the blooming gel is actually doing the work for you. Um, it's spreading very nicely. I'm going back in and I'm applying uh, more color as I feel you know that's needed. So it will start off with less and you can always add more. But I'm looking at it to see how I like the bloom and once I'm satisfied, I'm gonna pop it in the UV lamp for 30 seconds. Coming back with another layer of blooming gel. Now we're gonna apply the perfect black on top of the spots there. And, and go very light on the black because it is a very dominant color. Um, you can come back and always add more, but um, with the black, just start off with very little and then add as you feel you need it. So what I'm doing here is I'm applying the black in an overlapping manner on the edges um, and waiting for it to spread. Blooming gel, I think it's like my favorite nail art to do. Um, you can do so many different designs with it. And um, I'm hoping to record more tutorials using Blooming Gel just so that um, I can play around with it a little bit more and show you all how to um, do different nail arts with, with the gel. So with the Blooming Gel, after you apply it, you don't want to cure it. You The um, product needs to be wet for the um, gel color on top of it to bloom. So after you're satisfied with the, the bloom, and I'm just kind of looking and waiting for it to bloom a little bit more, then I'll pop it in the UV lamp for 30 seconds. And this dipped honey, dipped in honey by Madame Glam, I'm applying a coat 
to it and it's going to give you that more amber look to it and not you know, so orange. Pop it in the UV lamp for 30 seconds, come back, I'm applying another layer, a very thin layer of blooming gel. And um, I'm noticing that I want more brown um, on the edges. I, I felt that the black was, it spread out too much. And this was what I was saying, go less with the black. Um, but, you know, everything can be fixed. So I'm just applying more brown on the edges to diffuse a little bit of that black. And what this does is the blooming gel layers in between it gives it more of like a dimensional you know look to it and not and not so flat because it looks like it's uh, encapsulated um, a little bit then i'm gonna pop it in the uv lamp for 30 seconds then coming back i'm actually buffing the um the surface of the nail to prepare it for the um the black stick it gel that I'm going to be using so that I can apply my um, my gold transfer foil so any um, you want to start off with a matte top and then when you apply the black and stick it gel the transfer foil will only uh, uh, stick onto the gel itself and not the actual nail so I'm using a striping brush by Robert and the color is uh, black it's called black stick it but it comes in a clear gel as well. But I find that when I'm trying to draw uh, different nail designs, the black is a little bit um, easier to see what I'm drawing so that I don't miss spots. The clear is really nice too. But if I you know, am I'm wanting to draw a flower or something like that, I do want some color so that I can see what I'm drawing before I cure it. And I'm just taking my striping brush and going on the outside perimeter of the nail. Uh, I want the gold foil to just be on the outside today. You know what I should have mentioned earlier is um, instead of buffing, what you can do um, in lieu of buffing is apply a matte top coat and that will also serve its perfect, uh, purpose by only allowing the, the gold foil to stick to the black stick it gel versus the nail itself. But um, I didn't want to add on another layer. Um, I felt like I added enough layer with the gel between the gel polish and the blooming gel. I didn't want to add any more thickness to it. If you end up missing a spot, you can go back in with your brush or if you wanna fix it, I would recommend using alcohol to fix it um, with a cleanup brush and in sharpening you know, wherever you need to. Then I'm taking my gold foil and I will be cutting a little piece of it out, the size of the nail. And I, what I already did is I cured it in the lamp for 30 seconds after I applied the black, black stick it gel. And now the black gel is actually sticky, very sticky. Um, so when I'm applying the transfer foil over it, it's only gonna be sticking to the black stick it gel. And here I'm intentionally wanting more of like a broken line look. I didn't want a, like a super solid line. I wanted to give it more of a, I guess a vintage feel to it. So I intentionally did not want a, um, a super um, opaque black line. And there goes my god dang nail popping off the nail stand. That's a challenge.
I'm actually wearing two layers of glove uh, gloves because I'm allergic to gel so it's kind of difficult um, doing nail art with two pairs of gloves on so the final um, step is to apply your top coat and then once you apply your top coat uh, this step you're gonna want to cure for 60 seconds to finish it off And that's it. Here's the finished product. And you can play around with the where you want the gold foil to be. It could be a you know a line in the middle where the cuticle area is, or you can even do a French um, gold line transfer with the transfer foil. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more content.